INFPA versus INFPT. Where do you belong? INFPs are generally the most creative, empathetic, and idealistic personality types of all the 16 known personalities. They're identified by their value for character and personal beliefs and are unique in their ideas and decisions. Many INFPs are drawn to humanitarian assistance, artistic causes, and religious endeavors because of their uniquely defined traits. The INFPA personality type describes assertive mediator INFPs, and the INFPT personality type describes turbulent mediator INFPs. After varying the differences between these two INFP subtypes, you'll discover which INFP type best describes you and let us know where you belong via the comments section below. From our researches, we found out that almost 80% of Google's content on IFP depicts the characteristics and traits of INFPT, and only a small fraction pertains to the other. This implies that most INFP personalities exhibit a higher level of turbulence than assertiveness. Let's look into the characteristics of both INFP subtypes, which creates a distinction between their traits. Assertive INFPs are pretty rare, compared to turbulent INFPs. Here are some of their distinctive features. They're less scared of failing than the turbulent INFPs, which gives them the courage to complete their tasks. Assertive INFPs tend to stand up for themselves when they need to, without apologies. They state their argument when they need to, rather than hold back constantly to avoid trouble. They don't run away from their problems, but face them squarely. They have tremendous confidence in their sense of direction, and when they make decisions, they tend to stand on it. They aren't held back by perfection, but scale through even with little distractions or difficulties and are optimistic. Assertive INFPs don't shy away from deep conversations about themselves as they're comfortable with their personality and decisions. They easily let things go and don't need to hold on to silly comments at work or their immediate surroundings. In addition, some of the weaknesses of the assertive INFPs include their inability to seek help because of their self-confidence and high optimism. They tend to lose focus due to their sprawling confidence and assertiveness. They pay less attention to critics and feedback from others, since they're quick to discount negative comments. Most of the traits associated with turbulent INFPs are common to the general features and characteristics of INFPs. They include, although INFPs are generally idealistic, turbulent INFPs tend to be more attentive to their ideas than assertive ones. They're very self-conscious and they love perfection. They're more emotionally expressive and can easily connect to people's sufferings and emotional feelings. They're very sensitive to their feelings and perception, just as they are to others. Instead of advancing the downsides of their sensitivity, INFPTs tend to use their sensitive nature in their favor. When they're not satisfied with their performance or actions, they work towards it and improve. Some of their prevalent weaknesses include, due to their sensitive nature, they tend to get self-critical and insecure. They're more attentive to other people's opinions of themselves and always look for validation from others. They're easily overwhelmed by their failures and shortcomings, and they hardly let go of the past. Please let us know your opinions in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell. Thanks for watching this video.